Hi, I'm personal injury attorney Jim Curtis with South Shore Injury Attorneys. The most common question we get asked by clients who've been injured in a Florida car accident, or any other type of accident for that matter, is what is the value of my case? The answer we most commonly give is, well, it depends. And this isn't our attempt to be funny or to evade the question. Truth is, there are many different factors that go into determining the value of any personal injury case. First of all, it's important to know that every case is different. Despite this fact, people will often compare their case with someone else's. For example, we often hear, my neighbor was in an auto accident just like mine. She was injured. She received the maximum amount of money in a short period of time. Our usual response to this is, that's great. Tell us more about your friend's claim. Of course, that client or person we're speaking with can't tell us any, any more details about the claim. And even if they could, they quickly realize that their case is far different than their neighbors or friends. Even if you can compare different aspects of your claim, there are usually different injuries involved, different medical histories, and most importantly, different insurance companies or adjusters. All of these can affect the value of your case. The value of your case is dependent on a number of factors. The first would be the medical bills from your accident, which you won't know likely until those bills have been totaled and you have finished your treatment. Next, you may be entitled to recover lost wages. That's simply the amount of money you would have made if you weren't injured and therefore able to do your job. Uh, this calculation could also include what's called loss of future earning capacity. This comes up when you're no longer able to do your job because of your injuries, and then you have to take a different job that uh, you now can do, but it pays you less. Some additional factors that must also be considered include such things as the amount of insurance coverage involved, the question of whether you're partially at fault for the accident, the amount of your medical bills that remain outstanding, and your estimated future medical expenses, and there's many, many more. The bottom line is that there are a lot of factors that need to be considered in valuing your personal injury claim. Most cannot even be addressed until well after your accident and after you've been treating for your injuries. Unfortunately, despite this, there's lawyers out there who are going to try to tell you what your case is worth at the initial consultation when they're just trying to sign you up as a client. These are lawyers that should be avoided. An experienced personal injury attorney will refrain from discussing value until the time is right, uh, and only after he, and she, he or she is able to assess many of the important factors that will affect the value of your case.